Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we are given n cities and the number of power stations inside them. We are also given the range of each station and all the cities in that range can receive power from that station. For example, the range is given as 1 and if we look at our second city, it will receive power from all the stations which are one city to the left and to the right. And the power of a city is defined as the number of stations in the range of the city. In this case, city 2 will have a power of 11. Similarly, if we consider city 0, then all the stations in city 1 will be in its range and its power will be 3. We are also given k extra stations that we can add to any city and we have to maximize the minimum power of a city. For example, we had two extra stations available and we added one each to city 0 and city 2. So when we consider city 0, its power would be 4. For city 1, it will be 9. And if we calculate the powers of each city this way, the minimum power that we can find will be 4 and it will be at city 0. If we add both the stations to city 0, then in that case, the minimum power for all the cities will be 5 and it will be for city 0. You can see that for any other distribution of our extra stations, we cannot get a minimum value more than 5. Let's try to come up with an intuitive solution for this. Let's look at the same example. If we try to distribute the extra stations, one possibility would be this, another possibility can be this, and so on. For finding out the total number of such possibilities, we see that each station can go into any of the n cities, and we have k such stations. So the total number of possibilities will be k raised to the power of n. Obviously this is very large, so we have to come up with something else. One thing to note over here is that we are trying to maximize or minimize something. We have very recently solved a similar problem to this. I'll recommend you to check that solution too. Whenever we are trying to maximize or minimize something and we are not able to come up with an obvious approach, we should always consider binary search if it meets these three conditions. Can we determine the lowest possible answer that is possible? In our case, this value will be the minimum of our array. This is because even if we don't add any extra stations to that city and the range of a station is 0, the minimum power of all cities will at least be that value. So we can determine the lowest range. For the highest answer, this will be possible when the range is so high that for a city, all the stations are available in its range. So that will be the sum of this array. And we also have extra stations that will add to our answer. So these two conditions are possible. And for our last condition, for a given answer, we have to determine if it is valid or not. Let's see if this is possible or not. Let's assume that our answer is 7. When we consider city 0, this will be its power. Even if we assign all the extra stations to it, power can only be 5. Since the answer of at least 7 was not possible, this is invalid. Now let's try the same thing with 4. For our zeroth city, this will be the power. We need one station more to make it 4. So we'll use one from the extra stations and reduce its value. Now the question is, in which city should we place this extra station? If we place it in city 0, then it will be only available for city 0 and city 1. But if we place it in city 1, then it will also be available in this range. This is more ideal because it can be used later by our remaining cities. In fact, we should try to place it as right as possible. When we consider city 1, its power is greater than or equal to 4. Similarly, for city 2, the answer 4 is valid. Similarly, for city 5, the answer is valid. And even for our last city, the answer is valid. So the answer 4 is valid. Now let's try with our actual answer whether it is valid or not. For our 0th city, the power is 3 and we need 2 more. So we'll use 2 extra stations and add it to our first city. For city 1, the power is 9, so the answer 5 is valid. Even for this city, the answer is valid. And so on, we see that for all the cities, the answer is valid. So we see that the answer 5 is valid. And we have also seen that given an answer, we can reverse check it. To optimize calculating the sum for a given range, we can use a sliding window. We also have to keep track in which city we have added the extra stations because when we move to the right and that city gets out of range, we not only have to deduct the city's original value but also the added value. The time complexity of this would be n into log of the sum of the array because we have to search for an answer in the range of our sum. This will be logarithmic 
and for each answer we have to traverse the array to check if it is valid or not and the space complexity would be o of n because we have to keep track in which cities we have added the extra stations let's implement our solution the first thing that we'll do is define the range for our binary search our lower range will be the minimum of the array and the higher range will be the sum of the array plus our extra stations to handle our corner cases for the corner cities we'll add number of zeros equal to the range both at the left and the right our answer will at least be the lower range so we'll initialize our result to that now we'll write our typical binary search where we'll keep on checking till our low is less than or equal to high now we'll find the middle value for this range we'll now check if this answer is valid or not if it is valid then we'll update our answer to be the middle value and we'll update the lower range to be middle plus 1 now for our else condition if that answer is not valid then we'll update the upper range of our binary search to be middle minus 1 at the end we can return our answer but before we do that we have to implement our reverse check logic we'll first initialize the available stations to be k since we have added zeros to the left of our array the index of our zero at city will now be r now we'll initialize our sliding window we'll initialize it to be the sum of all the cities from our zero at city to the r minus 1 city since we have added r zeros to the left we have to go till the index 2 into r minus 1 we'll also keep a hash map to keep track of the cities where we have added the extra stations and how much now we'll go through all the cities in the array we'll start from index r and our last city will be at the index length of the array minus r minus 1 at the start we'll add the rightmost city of our range to our sliding window sum this city's index will be our current index plus our range now we'll check if our window sum is less than the answer that we are trying for In that case we'll calculate how many extra stations do we need to make this answer valid that value will be the difference between the answer we are looking for and our window sum if we do not have sufficient extra stations to meet this requirement then our answer is invalid and we can return false if we have sufficient extra stations then we'll add this value to our window sum since we will be adding the extra stations to the rightmost city in our range we'll add that entry to our hash map and finally we'll deduct the available stations by this value when we are done checking for a city we'll remove the leftmost city in our range from the window sum if there are any extra added cities over there we'll also remove that and finally we'll increment our index by 1 if we did not find any deficiency then our answer is valid and we can return true we are done with our solution let's submit it you can see that our solution is accepted If you thought this video was helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content thanks for watching